Kerry, agroplants.org, also known as heart shape wax flower or sweetheart hoya. So this succulent vine, uh, it's perennial evergreen. It's used for the ornamental, for the leaves in a heart shape, or for the flowers uh, that are also beautiful. Uh, there is also leaves that can be variegated and the flowers are fragrant. If you would like to grow it, there is a link below, link in the right top side, and if you purchase it, this is donation for this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, it's really helped for this channel to grow. Uh, so this is and for you to check other kind of plant. Uh, the leaves, uh, sorry, can grow in variety of climate, tropical, subtropical, or Mediterranean climate. Uh, possible to grow it also as an indoor plant. Uh, in the house, hardiness zone will be from 10B+. Plus. The leaves color are green and can be some cultivars that are variegated, green with yellow or white. Uh, as, a, as you see, it's a heart shape and the leaves are fleshy and waxy. Uh, flowers fragrant and the color of the flowers white with red star in the middle. The flowers also waxy and in the in star shape. Uh, so how to grow this uh, Hoya Kerry? So well drained soil, high humidity, moist soil, uh, spray water on the air roots. Uh, possible to grow it in the hardiness zone of 10 but better with frost free. Uh, we we'll need protection in the winter and prefer more than 10 Celsius degrees, so it's been 50 Fahrenheit. Uh, use soft water, uh, rain water or clean water, and better to grow it in container or in a pot. Uh, how to care for this Hoya Carry? Uh, use fertilizer at least once or twice a year. Uh, plant uh, and better to spray a little bit also the the fertilizer. Not don't just put it on the soil. Except this uh, high content of nitrogen uh, will prevent yellow leaves. So if you see that your leaves become yellow, be aware that it's uh, you don't have enough nitrogen. Uh, better to let it uh, weep a little bit from the ceiling to go down. It's better for the plant. It grow better. Then just another option is to let it uh, trellising on something or just climb. You can start growing by seeds, highly not recommend. Uh, plant or cutting. Cutting can be from leaves or a uh, branch. Also, uh, bending a branch over this uh, and cover it with the soil uh, will work, just keep the soil moist. If you want to start by cutting, Possible to start, uh, as I said, from stem or leaf. Cut the leaves or the stem. Uh, leave it, if you choose a stem, at least area of three leaves. Uh, wait a few days and, uh, in the shade until the tissue will heal. After, put the soil, uh, put it in soil and let it grow. Uh, moist soil with high humidity. Uh, better to use in the greenhouse, a better result. And the season will be from spring to early summer. If you want, it's option to do it in water. I highly not recommend, but it's pos uh, possible. Uh, important to use clean water because if not, it will make a lot of problem for the plant. And just switch the what uh, uh, switch the water every few day. Uh, after, if you see like five roots or something like this, few roots growing, add some fertilizer, liquid fertilizer. Uh, it's very hard to start from seeds, so I highly recommend to start by cutting. Uh, be aware that it's poisonous to humans, uh, but don't try to eat and everything is okay, so just don't try to eat. Uh, planting season will be from spring in hardiness zone of 10, uh, possible also in the mid until the mid-summer. Uh, spring to summer in hardiness zone of 10b, spring to autumn in hardiness zone of 11, and all the year in hardiness zone of 12 plus. Uh, the main problem 
uh, when you buy the plants be aware that you buy it in a greenhouse and when you take it outdoors uh, it might die uh, because of different uh, condition major pests are mealybugs, fungal and aphids pruning season will be all the but better after the blooming uh, better to cut uh, only dead leaves or dead stems uh, it's very slow growing so I wouldn't cut so much a uh, size of the plant will be 2 to 4 meters so it means 6 to uh, 13 feet uh, in optimal growing will be medium growing uh, usually it's slow growing plant that require average amount of water but need to take care to spray the water on the air roots and better to use soft water let it dry between watering uh, and also before blooming season let it dry a little bit light requirement full sun possible to grow it uh, but might be burned from the sun uh, uh, need high humidity so then it will be okay Half shade will be better for the plant because it's too much light. Uh, in too much light, will be burn the leaves, and this is will be the best. Full shade, uh, possible to grow, but need uh, need to know that the plant need a lot of light in order to bloom, and this is must. If not, it won't bloom. Uh, the most important things when uh, uh, it's not to have too much sun to. If too much sun uh, will be burned, 75% of sun will be uh, or filter sun by net, window or high humidity will be the best. Uh, we'll grow it on tree, a uh, possible uh, deciduous uh, tree, you know, uh, that will be, let's say, the leaves fall in the winter. Uh, and then in the summer when the, leaf, uh, the tree will grow, we'll have less sun. So then you prevent the sunburn, and then you give enough sun in the winter. Uh, and this is you can do in hardness zone of 10B, by the way. Uh, it's possible to grow it indoor and uh, choose the right location. Be aware that uh, need a lot of light, even with some sun. Uh, artifi artificial home light won't be enough for bloom. And take away the plant from heater, ventilators or air condition it's dry the plant and this plant doesn't like this drought and of course uh, if you have high humidity you can grow it in the bathroom where next to the bus and then you have high humidity so this is the solution and it's also mostly warm in this room uh, just take it away from the heater don't forget to put uh, fertilizer also spray them so how to care uh, indoor as i said light and humidity at least 60 percent of humidity you can spray every few days the humidity and then it will be enough uh, if you choose to grow it in a container from 5 liter to 12 liter will be mostly enough uh, again bigger plants will require more uh, for more information of, uh, for growing in a pot you have a lot of information in the website of growplants.org so check in the link uh, general uh, information it's put a lot of uh, make holes drainage it's important humidity it's important and moist soil and of course the air roots you need to find something to do with them and hang it from the ceiling it's also important because then it's easier to take care of the plant blooming season will be from the spring to the autumn very rare will uh, bloom in the autumn and might will never bloom be aware that this is something that happened and this is something that affect if you start from seeds uh, it's well known that it take years uh, it might take five years even to bloom from not from seeds and from seeds might take even 10 years or even more uh, but the leaves are beautiful and if you will give the right condition it will bloom much faster but really much faster so you should consider uh, to give it the right condition as I explained in this video and if you have uh, more information that you would like to know about there is so much information like how to grow from seeds and other things 
uh, I will try to explain it in other video of Hoya, it's all the same condition. And if not, just check it growplants.org, how to grow from Hoya carry from seeds. That's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe, visit our website. And of course, if you have any question, just ask. You have here links about more videos, some list, subscribe, and of course, purchase a plant, and this is donation for our channel. I hope you enjoy, and come visit us again.